Guys, welcome back to another episode of Hobby Adventures. Today, we are gonna talk about something really cool. Have you ever wondered how fast your trains go on your layout? Have you ever wondered how slow your trains can go on your layout? I have a real cool product coming right up after this. Last week you saw me unbox this. AccuTrack 2 Speedometer. This thing's pretty cool, man. I'm not gonna do an unboxing, we're just gonna get right to it. Before we get anything going on here, we have to set up the AccuTrack 2 speedometer to what we're gonna be using. There are four scales that we can work on. First one is HO, which uh, HO scale, double O scale, and for N scale, there's two versions. There is the 1 1 60th scale, and the second one is 1 1 48th scale. All right, and then on top of that, we have two options of either miles an hour or kilometers. So as you can see, there's a setup button. That's what we're gonna use. There's the on off. When you first turn it on, it's gonna be HO. Wow, that's flashing pretty funny. Anyways, HO 87th scale. There's also something else that you need to see as well. See this button right up here? When it goes to HO, it's indicating that it's on miles an hour. So this is HO on miles an hour. Me being for end scale, that's not gonna work out because it need, first it needs to be end scale, one, sixth, one sixtieth scale, and I want it on kilometers an hour. So the way that we're gonna achieve that is taking something pointy, uh, can be a paper clip. I'm using this piece of wire that I tinned with solder. That's gonna work. So we're gonna press right away, as I said, HOC and uh, for miles an hour. Press it again. It's gonna give us N scale 1 60th in miles an hour, don't want that. Then it's gonna give double O miles an hour. This is the other N scale, see, 1 148th. Okay, then we're gonna go, then it's gonna go back to HO, but it's gonna show for kilometers. Then it's gonna to go to N scale, that's what I want. So we go ahead, turn it off, turn it on. So now, when you turn it on, it's gonna tell you, hey, it's end scale 1 60th in kilometer an hour. That's what I want. Now, the other option that this AccuTrack 2 has is actually a self turn off feature or a power saving feature. All right, so when the power saving feature is on, we have a choice of either for it to be on for one minute or for 30 minutes. This is gonna dictate on how long it's gonna be in this mode before it turns off. All right, so the way to get to that is we turn off the system take our pointy press and hold the setup button turn it on okay see now it's on for 30 minutes but it's on the way to turn it on and off press the button press the setup button see now it's off now it's on to get to the minutes to change the minutes press and hold the setup button See, there's nothing on there. Now it's at one minute, okay? Press it again, two minutes. Press it again, three, four. I'm gonna set mine for five. Once that is set for five, turn off the system, turn it back on, and now it will be for, if there's no activity for five minutes, this will turn off by itself. All right, so now for the side profile. I don't have any HO models to show you guys. This is actually high enough to run double stack HO scale trains. Obviously, if it's high enough to run double stack on an HO, it's high enough to run anything for N scale. Double O, I am not too sure. I think double O is actually a bit bigger scale than HO. As I was saying in the unboxing video, which I'm gonna leave a card right up here. What you have is two IR sensors, infrared sensors over here. One is shoots the infrared and the other one captures the infrared. So you have two on this side, two on that side. And what it does is when the train enters either this side or that side, it measures on how long it takes or for the train to go from this set to that set or vice versa. With end scale, it gets a little fidgety. I've noticed that the best way to work for this to work is to bring this IR system close to the track as possible because I've noticed that if I bring it out to, let's say, the middle one over here, 
I know because because the train is so small, it doesn't break the IR beam properly. I know that it's supposed to sit on the layout. I've tried it with a separate piece of track just to see how it works. And literally that's what I had to do. I had to keep this right here, this system closest to the track. So as we have that set up, let's go ahead and uh, test it out, see how it works. We are gonna be testing out the Laria, the TGV Laria. Next thing to do is let's turn on the system and scale in kilometers an hour. And once that turns off and you have the little tiny button right there, the little tiny light, that it's ready to go. So first run. Okay, here we go. Train's coming, train's coming. So now it's gonna break the first, break the second. Now it's telling us it's doing 100 kilometers an hour. Scaled speed, by the way, not actual speed. Scaled speed. Holy moly, that was super fast to see that. 460 kilometers an hour. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so next test is gonna be the slow test. I am gonna use my coal train. All right, so I have this as slow as I can go. Train's running a little jerky, but that's okay. Still, it's super slow. So it broke the beam on that side. It's now it's gonna calculate, it's gonna count how long it's gonna take to break the other beam. Then it's gonna tell us on how fast this train has been traveling. Point 0.1 of a kilometer. Holy mac, that's super slow. All right, that is it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It was really cool to be able to see on how fast the trains are going on the layout. You know what, it's still blowing my mind, the fact that the TGV Laria, even though it's end scale, almost hit the actual speed. 462 kilometers an hour. I think the that model train ended up hitting like Maximum speed was like 570 something kilometers an hour. But you know what, even in operation, in real time operation, those trains only run at like about 350 kilometers an hour. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure one of you guys are gonna be able to give me an actual speed. So leave a comment down below if you guys know. It's really cool to be able to see how slow the cold train was actually going. 0.1 of a kilometer, which is super slow. Holy mac, I didn't even know that train that went that slow. Overall, I think this is an awesome product. Something that's really cool. It's a little bit pricey, but you know what? Honestly, for what you get, it's actually pretty good. So for now, I've only had this about a, for about a week. I've played with it quite a bit. What I think of it, pretty cool. It's gonna make speed matching a whole lot easier when I do with my trains. That's gonna be about the next video. It's gonna be about speed matching my trains, uh, especially for the two trains for my, for my Cole Consist. So guys, as always, keep on modeling. Till next time.